Thank you so much for your time. We're here at the beautiful Grosvenor House in London. Uh, it's, it's had quite a makeover. Those who haven't been here for a couple of years will notice a really beautiful, fresh, amazing hotel. That's right. The, it, was, it came on board of the JW Marriott Grosvenor House in 2010, following a £100 million renovation. And uh, more recently, we spent some £30 million uh, doing a refresh of all our uh, bedstock public spaces, created some new uh, royal suites, and uh, invested in our ballroom and banqueting space. And if you look at sort of where you are in London, it's a highly competitive street with some incredible hotels, some that are part of your portfolio, some that aren't. And uh, so I think you've really got to have a product in this part of London that is really sort of at the forefront, isn't it? Absolutely. And, you know, particularly uh, when you've got an address like Park Lane, uh, as London's uh, blessed with lots of fantastic, iconic hotels. Uh, Grosvenor House is uh, an iconic hotel of some 93 years. It's a hotel of scale and uh, we make sure it's uh, uh, refreshed and relevant uh, and very attractive for uh, the, the long-standing uh, tradition of our guests from the United States, Middle East, the families and the inbound groups who've uh, come used to this grand dame here. And, and, and very popular with Americans. It's, uh, and I think a lot of that is going to come down to the power of Marriott's loyalty with Bonvoy too, isn't it? Yeah, Bonvoy, Bonvoy is without a doubt a, a huge uh, driver. Uh, you know, the, uh, the Marriott loyalty program is uh, such a rich following. Um, it's also very attractive for you know, these inbound groups. You know, we are a hotel scale and catering pace uh, in, t in terms of the space of our uh, banqueting, of our great room and our ballroom. Uh, these inbound conventions from the US really are attracted to the Marriott name and on such a wonderful address. Yeah, I've actually been to a couple of events here in the hotel, so I've seen your, your event spaces uh, while things have been going on. And it, it really is impressive from an event standpoint here as well. Yeah, I'd like to think um, if there's an event going of note in London, it's invariably in the great room. Uh, it's got a capacity of 2,000 for dinner. Uh, traditionally or annually, um, we've uh, hosted the BAFTAs, which is the uh, after awards uh, dinner for 1,950. Um, there's a lot of uh, uh, sporting uh, entertainment dinners of note, which are in the annual calendar. And uh, say if there is an iconic event, it's usually here at Grosvenor House one of London's biggest hotels as well. So obviously when you look at it from a service standpoint, from a product standpoint, it's gonna keep you on your toes being in this property too, isn't it? It certainly has. I think we've got to be very clear about our positioning. You know, whilst we're a luxury hotel, we're a luxury hotel of scale. Um, we know that we're not necessarily in the uh, Uber luxury end of uh, butlers uh, servicing these uh, uh, lots of suites. Um, but without a doubt, we've got a very discerning audience, whether they're staying overnight, whether they're attending events, uh, they know what they want and uh, it's up to us to make sure uh, we get what they expect. And some fantastic food and beverage in the hotel, including just what I heard earlier on, a wonderful pianist downstairs for some afternoon tea. Yeah, um, the, the park room uh, opens up splendidly uh, to, uh, to both sides of Park Lane and Park Street. As you say, we have the, the pianist playing for afternoon tea. Uh, we have the Red Bar, which uh, supports our events. We have a, a US Steakhouse. Uh, we've got two uh, uh, partner chef patrons for Richard Corrigan. Corrigan's of Mayfair has his restaurant with us. And uh, Roya offers some uh, rich Anatolian Turkish food. So we've got a whole array of food and beverage, and it's probably the largest food and beverage off our operation in London. And some of the best service I've had actually in a hotel was actually in your restaurant yesterday. So I think it's testament to, to how good this hotel's run. Well, that's pleasing to know. Uh, I think we're blessed with a wonderful core team. Uh, we're trying to make sure they're supported as they cope with uh, the rapid demand. And London is going through such a high upswing of occupancy. And uh, I want to make sure that we can nurture the talent we've got, make them feel loved and they can... Uh, you know, deliver some great service. It's probably one of the most challenging cities in the world from a service standpoint, from food and beverage. And uh, you, you definitely do get it right here with F&B. And how important is it to have fantastic food and beverage in a hotel in London? Because it's a hallmark of a British hotel. It is uh, It's critically important. I think you know, we give guests choice. Um, uh, the nature of the demographics of our customers are 24 hours. Uh, I think uh, the, the opportunity to dining out on our doorstep at Mayfair keeps us on our toes. 
keeps us competitive, keeps us relevant and we can make sure that the offer uh, uh, can retain those guests who've come to London to enjoy what London's about. We've got some great choices here. And we mentioned a few, a few competitors around here, there's some great restaurants around here, some great pubs around here. So yeah. when it comes to your X Factor, what's your real X Factor here at the hotel? Um, I think you, know, you touched on the people. Uh, I think that's important. I think our, our address and our outlook, I mean, we've got Hyde Park. I mean, uh, people, whilst we've got a wonderful gym here, people just like to fall out onto Park Lane and go and enjoy uh, Hyde Park. Uh, history is uh, a rich part of what we're about. And uh, when we've been hosting uh, royalty and heads of state for all those years, um, I think uh, without a doubt we are, you know, we've got generations of families been passing through here. It's just such a wonderful hotel and thank you so much for having us. Thank you very much. It's been a real pleasure, James.